Hey y'all, we're going to do a product review of the Sunseeker MFT261 4-in-1 pole saw today. Comes with a power head, a hedge trimmer, a bush cutter cutting blade, the pole saw, and just your regular weed eating head. And we're going to do it in comparison to the Ryobi Expanded, which has been really a really good, decent weed eater uh, you know it's easy to to connect the attachments it's easy to start it's been a good overall weed eater I've had it for two years and I've put it through a lot in terms of putting uh, uh, brush cutting blades on it and using it I've had to replace the clutch in it so let's just go ahead and open this up we'll see if everything's in there I'll make a playlist so when I start using the different attachments you can just go down the playlist and see how each attachment works. Alright, here's everything in the kit. You've got your hedge trimmer right there. You got your saw. It's pretty nice. I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'll get you a close up of it. I mean, the thing will work. It's just like the Ryobi. It may feel a lot better, to be honest with you. It feels like heavier gauged uh, aluminum. Your saw blade. I'm guessing that's 10 inches. Comes with a chain. They give you uh, an extension bar, which is nice. I like that. I like the fact that you can uh, extend out a little bit further with your implements if you need to. There's your power head. One thing I do like about the power head is right here. I like the fact that it's got that you can get in there like that. It's kind of got that bushing around there that's going to make things, you know, a lot more stable. One thing I don't like about it, and I'm pretty sure this is like a uh, wild badger, it's just a different color. I don't know if they're going to just move completely to wild badger or still have the sun seeker line but one thing i do not like because i've got the wild badger brush cutter and it's awesome it's awesome i like everything about it, it seems like it's overbuilt the one thing i don't like is the air cleaner i mean look this is crazy look at that it's just your little foam in there so definitely clean that at every opportunity so there's your uh your choke and your run we'll put this back on there and continue with the tour here okay so here's your weed eater head i've got it all set up for your brush cutting blade as well which is nice. I like this. I like the way this feels. It feels a lot better than the Ryobi in terms of construction. I like this uh, kind of brushed aluminum feel. It feels a lot thicker. Let's pop the cap off on this. Let me set my camera down. We'll pop the cap off on the end of this and we'll see what the spline looks like on this. Okay, let me get it in the light here. All right, there's the spline. It's just a square spline. I think it's square, yeah. There you go. So, we'll set that down. Your guard, your weed eating guard, comes with your handle comes with your your harness it's not a very expensive harness it's not it's really not very comfortable to be honest with you but it does get the job done it does exactly what it's supposed to do you won't be tired when you're through but i don't think you would actually need a guard or a harness for this unit anyway because this unit's not it's not heavy like the uh like the brush cutter the wall badger brush cutter is like 23 pounds but you got your weed eater head here. Let me see if I can. It's easy to 
to uh, change the string on this thing. You just push in here and here and pull it out. Take this out and just string. Very simple, very easy to do. Let me see if I can get it back in here. Okay, comes with a uh, little tool kit and your instructions and that's it that's the that's everything you need right there comes with the entire unit we'll go ahead and put some gas in here and see if we can get this thing to crank All right, so if it's anything like the wild badger brush cutter, you just, ooh, we'll go ahead and flip it up to choke and give it like three or four pulls. And then we'll move it down to run. Cranks right up on the first try. It's awesome. We'll let it sit here and warm up for a couple minutes. And uh, we'll press the accelerator to see what happens. I like the fact that this thing cranks very, very easily. It sounds really, really good. Got your off switch right there when you want to turn it off. Got your safety. So when you're pressing the accelerator, you have to have that depressed as well. Very responsive. We'll just go ahead and turn it off right there. Very, very, very responsive. It's a nice unit. Like it so far. <laughs> Even though I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and let you see how the Ryobi <coughs> how the Ryobi starts up. Matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll put these two units together. So you can get an idea of what they look like together. Very similar in length. I gotta say, the uh, Sunseeker just looks a little bit better. Looks like it's put together a little bit better. Um, it's plastic up there. It's your spark plug. The Ryobi is just feels a little bit cheaper. I'll go ahead and crank the Ryobi for you so you can get a good idea of how the Ryobi cranks in comparison. You still have to prime it 10 times and there's a whole process to it. Let me see if this thing will crank.
I've got to say, an overall feel, uh, kind of like the Sunseeker. That handle's got some sort of padded rubber on it, which makes it very, very comfortable. The actual uh, accelerator handle here. I mean, it feels kind of like cheap plastic, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. The Ryobi, you know, throttle handle feels a lot better, but the actual, you know, your actual guide bar feels a lot better on this unit uh shoot i haven't really used the sun seeker yet i'll use it in some other videos and i'll give you my honest opinion on it but right now it's a toss-up for me i, I <laughs> it's a toss-up over the ryobi and the sun seeker and i'm not getting paid to do any of this i didn't get this for free i bought it I bought the uh, the Wild Badger brush cutter as well, so I, I didn't get a free sample, and that's okay because uh, I needed a new weed eater, and this is it. So until our next video, which will probably be <laughs> it'll be the brush cutter, the pull saw, or the uh, just the weed eater or the hedge trimmer, be one of those four. So I'll put them all on a playlist, like I said, and we'll actually end up using it back here in this area because this is what I want to this is what I want to clear I've cleared all this this section looked like this and uh This is what we're going to be clearing. So you can see I've cleared all of this already. And uh, that's why I'm looking for a new weed eater and brush cutter. Isn't that beautiful in there, guys? Oh, my God. Let's walk back in here. Hopefully we won't get bit by a snake. But, man, it's just so beautiful back here. I just want to come in and clear it out a little just to get the brambles and the briars and you know things like this cleared up you know just so we can have the trees and the canopy so all right i look forward to making the next video for you guys so until then y'all stay safe don't get chipped